Right. So for today's um, video, we are going to continue to use integration to find the area. All right. And then um, for the previous video, one, we are actually focused on the area that most of them, most of the area are attached with the x axis, and you use the integration for dx. Right. So for today, one, we are also finding out the area, but the area is actually connected with y axis, so like dy. So we use the integration for dy. So connected with y axis means this one that you can have a look here. So you can see that the area here mainly, right, so it's actually attached with the y axis. So last time one is attached with the x axis. Right, so when you see the area is attached with the y axis, uh, you can actually do the integration, find the area by using the integration uh, by dy. Uh. All right, so the x axis this one is dx, okay? Should be easier if, let's say, you follow this rule. But again, as what I said, uh, it is not 100% guaranteed that this is the best way, all right? Because there are some questions got exceptional. Okay, but generally, when you see this kind of question, you can use integration for dy. So we want to use the integration for dy. Uh, again, the value for a and b will be the value for the y, where the areas are and where the area n. Okay, and then the formula is integrate from a to b x dy. So we have to convert the equation into x equals to something something y. That only you can substitute into your <coughs> integration. <coughs> Alright. Okay, then again, the same thing happened for the left area. Okay, the area to the left hand side of the y axis and also the area to the right uh, left hand side of the f axis. Sorry, sorry. The, the right and left area on y and I have different uh, sign also. Uh. So when you're having the area on the right of the y axis, when you do the integration and find the answer, it should be a positive value. And that area on the left should be the negative value. So again, same like what you learned before. If let's say you're having the negative one, there are two ways for you to do it. Either you do the, you make the modulus, that means you change the value that you have become a one, oh, sorry, become positive, all right, or you can change the limit now. instead of zero to a, you change it become a to zero, all right. So I hope that you have the idea on this because all these the all these idea are generally the same with the x axis that we have, all right. Okay, so now let's start with one example, discuss one example, and then hopefully you can have an idea from here. All right, so for this question, it is a passive question, and then you see that hey, the figure is already given. Okay, so for this part, what they want is, they already tell you that the curve is this equation. All right, and then after that, what they have? They are saying that, okay, like you're having two points, of, two points on the graph. This is P and this is Q. And then the shaded region is bounded by the curve, the y axis, and the line, y equals to 2. They want to find the area of shaded region. All right, so usually for the first step, when I look at it, I will try to have a look and see, okay, this area mainly is actually bounded by y axis. I hope that you can see it. All right, so maybe for me, my option of integration, I will use integration using dy. All right, okay, so I can show you here area is equals to integrate a, b, x, dy. All right, so where the area start on the y axis? Here, so value, the limit is one lower limit, and then upper limit, the upper limit is here, this is a two. Okay, and then I want to substitute x into the equation here. Okay, I don't have the x, therefore, you know that y equals to square root, three x plus one, right? This is the original equation. And then you have to change it y in uh, x in terms of y. All right, so you're having x equals to 1 over 3 and then y squared minus 1. Therefore, before the integration, I need to do these extra steps. Uh. I need to change the equation, become x in terms of y. And then after that, only I start with the integration. All right, so you can take out a constant first and then you start with the integration. All right, then you can substitute, substitute in the value. All right, so you're having 8 over 3 minus 2. 
Then minus again, 1 over 3 minus 1. All right, so you continue further from here. You should be able to get an answer 4 over 9. Okay. All right, so this is particularly um, how I use integration use uh, truth dy to get the an answer for area. Yeah, so why I choose to use dy is because of the area attached with the y axis mainly. All right, okay, so maybe some students will ask, um, how about if I say I don't, don't want to bother the dy or dx, can I always use dx or not? Okay, so um, for most of the question, you can always focus or maybe you can always um, try to only using the x uh. all right because i think in the exam they won't require like oh you have to use dy or you have to use the x they just want to answer okay so let's say for this example if you want to use the x how can you do it all right okay so now this is the method by using dy so i'm going to show you another method if let's say you insist you want to use the x only integration towards the x then hmm, what is the method or how can we use it to get an answer okay all right so i'll erase this solution okay so if let's say you want to use dx for the integration to get an area first um this is the curve right and then because i think before that i told you when you do the integration and find the area, the area that you find is actually area under the curve. So this is the curve and this is the under. All right, so that means all, if you do the integration through dx, uh, this is the area that you get, the red color part. And then you have used the rectangle minus the red color part, only you can get the shaded area. Great or not? All right, so this is another way. Uh, so method number two all right so where's the method that we have here okay so if let's say i want to use dx for the integration to get the area first i need to find the rectangle so rectangle area is very easy all right multiply with base so it will be one times two two unit okay then minus you need to integrate through dx my right Okay, so where your area start from the x value here, which is a zero, lower limit is a zero, where your area end here, so this is a one. Okay, so y, you have to substitute the y equation in, so y is actually square root 3x plus 1. Alright, so you're having 2 minus, after you get this integration is 3x plus 1, power 3 over 2 divided by 3 over 2 times 3. Okay, so the detail of integration, I don't want to uh, state it out again here. You go and rephrase it yourself. You go and do some revision yourself. Okay, then I want to substitute the value in. But again, before I substitute the value in, I don't like my fraction look so complicated like this. So usually I will try to simplify it first. If I simplify it, I will get 2 over 9. Okay, then after that, only I want to put in the value. Okay, so you're having 2 minus 2 over 9. Alright, then what do I have? Substitute 1 into it, then you are having 8, I think. Yes, and then minus, substitute the 0 in, you have a 1. Alright, so if you press calculator and you didn't do any kind of mistake again, you will see that the answer is still the same. All right, so you see by the integration by using the exterior can get answer just that maybe you need to think a little bit more because you usually need to take some area minus the area under the ground only you can get the shaded region if the area is attached with the y-axis is connected with the y-axis all right so i show you both method already if let's say you found that, okay you only want to focus on one method that means you only want to focus on integration for dx then be prepared that you need to do Maybe something like this. Huh? Okay, you have to take rectangle. Uh, maybe you have to take rectangle minus the area under the graph, or maybe you have to take some other area to minus the integration. Only you can get the answer that you want. 
all right okay uh? so in exam they won't they won't uh actually um, tell you okay which method they actually want so you can use any method freely uh? right okay so if no problem then again example 12 i will just leave it for you to complete it because example 12 is also very similar with example 11 okay so um, for this one i will just give you the answer all right so the answer is actually two the area is equals to two two unit square all right yeah okay so make sure you complete this example yourself and double check your answer all right so if let's say you cannot get the answer you will get stuck just let me know okay through facebook messenger or maybe you can email me all right okay then let's proceed further okay so for all the previous example that we discussed huh, you will see that our area mainly are connected to either x axis or connected to y axis all right and then uh there's one another type of question uh, where you will see that oh, the area is actually not connected to X and also not connected to Y. All right, but it is actually covered by two curves. So you can see this area covered by a first curve. This is the first curve. Then this is another curve or another equation. Uh. All right, so this area generally they didn't connect with X axis or connect with Y axis. So for this kind of question, usually you um you can use either one that you like okay but the area what you need to do is that you can take integration of the area of y2 minus the integration the the equation for y1 so as an example the y21 if you integrate this right what is the area that you get area under the graph huh? so that means this is y2 if you integrate this y2, the area that you get is this whole thing. All right? But they only want the shaded area. So to get a shaded area, you need to minus the integration of y1. If you integrate the y1, the area we'll get is this one, this blue color part. I hope that you can see it. All right, so the whole green color part minus this blue color part, eventually you'll get the shaded area that you want. All right, so it means that you need to integrate two function different, or you can actually take y2 minus y1 first, then you do the integration. Okay, so now, uh, for all the previous example I told you, right, if let's say you want to find the area, it will be good if let's say you can draw a figure out, or usually the question will give you a figure. Okay, but for this particular type of question, you no need to draw any figure. You just need to remember that you always take y2 minus y1 or y1 minus y2. Okay, then you get answer. No need to purposely go and shade it, shade it out and then look for the negative or positive region or whatsoever. No need. All right, so should I will take minus one. Okay, so if let's say you take y2 minus y1, after integration you get negative value, should I will change it become positive. They won't be the nice mark because area should be positive. All right. Okay, so no need, again, no need to purposely go and draw the figure out and then you go and find out the maximum, uh, the negative area part and so on. That, that will make your solution very complicated. All right, so this is a special case uh, covered by two curve one. All right, okay, so if you have no problem, then we can have a look for one example. Example 13, I will leave it for you. Okay. Oh, sorry, before we start with the example, one point I missed out. Okay, usually for this kind of question, right, you actually need to find out the intersection point between the two graph. Okay, so you need to find the intersection point between the two graph because usually the limit for the area will be the intersection point. Understand? All right, so the value for A and B here are actually the intersection point of these two curves. Okay, all right, so you need to find out first before you can apply the integration to find the area. All right, okay, so you can have a look for example 13. So again, this area, if you look at it, it is actually covered by one curve. This is a curve, right? And also one line. So you can just make 
it as Y1 and Y2, and then you follow the step that I showed you just now. This example is quite simple, therefore I just want you to try to solve it by yourself. Answer should be 32 over 3 unit square. Okay, all right, then I want to discuss example 14. Example 13 is easy because when you they already give you the figure, so everything is very straightforward. Huh? But of course, the first step is you need to find the intersection point first. Okay, so what is the intersection point between these two curves? All right, so after that, only you use the intersection point here to get the value 32. Okay, so this one I leave it for you. Then we have a look for example 14. Okay, so for example 14, they wanted to show that these two curves, function fx and also function gx, intersect at two points and then find an area and close between them. So they want to find the area and close between them. So Sarsalai will tell me, I don't know how to sketch x half a tree and no figure is given. No need to worry about it, right? You totally no need to sketch a figure whatsoever. You just need to remember for this kind of question, first step, try to find out the intersection point. So to find the intersection point, you solve the equation simultaneously. Right, so you're having x power 3 minus x squared minus 6x plus 8. And that equals to what equals to x power 3 plus 2x squared minus 1. All right, then you can try to solve it. Lah. Right, uh, if let's say I move the equation all to one side, uh, I will have 3x squared and then plus 6x plus minus 9. All right, and then I try to solve it. Get a quadratic equation. And then you have two values of x here. x is equal to negative 3. x is equal to 1. So you find the intersection already. Then you want to get the area. Okay, so when you want to get the area, it again integrate from negative 3 until 1. This is the intersection point that you get in just now. Right, and then the area is covered by two curve mark, right? Therefore, um, you can simply use gx minus fx or fx minus gx are up to you. All right. Okay, so maybe for me, I'm using gx minus fx. Okay, you can always use fx minus gx, no problem one. Okay, huh? all right. So if let's say I'm using gx minus fx, then my equation will look something like this. Okay, then before I do the integration, I try to simplify all my equations first. I will have 3x squared plus 6x minus 9. Okay, and then after that, you can do the integration. So please take note for integration here, you cannot just cancel off the 3. You cannot simplify the 3 here. You can factorize it out before you do the integration, but you cannot straight away simplify it. Uh, you cannot straight away cancel it. Cancel the trick for every single term here, All right? Okay, so if you want, if you want, maybe you can take out a constant. And then after that, I will integrate. Oops, no, in last place, sorry, never mind. Okay, so... First, I substitute the 1 in, I will have 1 over 3 plus 1 minus 3. And after that, I will substitute negative 3 in, I will have negative 27 divided by 3 is negative 9, right? Then plus 9, and then plus 9. Alright, so if I continue from here, what is the value that I should get? Okay. Uh, you can simplify on your own, uh, right? You can simplify on your own, and then if I'm not mistaken, okay, if I'm not mistaken, when you to simplify this whole thing, uh, you should have negative 32. Alright, but area shouldn't be negative 32, then what you need to do is that uh, you should have change to become positive. No need to worry, it won't be the last mark on this. Alright, so your area should be 32. Okay, so for this example, as you can see, uh, although they didn't pro provide me any figure, 
I also actually know it because I know that once I get the intersection point and then I use fx minus gx or gx minus fx, then you will be able to get the answer already. No need to purposely go and figure, uh, draw the figure out. Okay. All right. So this is what we have for the area. Finding out the area by using integration. All right. So you are having a few cases here. Either you can use the dx or dy. It depends on your on yourself, lah. All right. And then after that, another case is this one. When the area is covered by two curve one, or maybe the area is not connected to x or y axis. All right. So this is how we solve it. Okay. Right, so if no problem, then the next one, the next video, we are going to discuss about uh, how to find out the volume by using the integration. Okay, so that's all for this video.